There's a couple sleepers set to release in the month of July, and I cannot wait to go over all the Air Jordan releases. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Air Jordan 1 Low Method of Make, and this is a women's colorway. This is a black and gold, the metallic gold colorway. What do you think about these? I think they need to make these in men's shoes. I'm, ex I'm uh, extended sizes is what I'm interested to see. Are they gonna do extended oh, sizes or not? God. And I think there's like four different colorways of these. I wanna say it's like a blue, a green, a red, and a black or something like that, or a white, but I don't remember. This right here would be it. Like. These are clean. This right here would be it. I'm excited. Like, I know we can't get this in a 14, you know, women's size 14. That's like a 17 or a 16 for a women. <laughs> yeah, it's like a 15 and a half. <laughs> That's huge. So, okay. It gives like Barons. Like, remember he played baseball for the Barons? And it's like kind of look like a baseball glove yeah, on there yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. For sure. It kind of also gives that kind of vibe to it at the same time. Either way, I think it's a dope shoe. I think the materials look nice as well. They done one great job on this shoe. I don't know. I think this this might be one of those like sleeper under the radar sneakers. Like, oh, I, you got the what? What are those? Those are I, clean. Like, yeah, and I think I think they're done well enough that you couldn't tell it's a woman's shoe. Right. You know, you yeah, you wouldn't know, and it's interesting because it's not really like a jewel swoosh on the side. It's a little bit different, so I like how they did that switch up. Kind of gives me that Japan Air Jordan One from early two oh, thousands sure. on the mid top version. So I like that shoe overall. I would say it's a cop, one hundred thirty five bucks. Can't go. Oh, wrong. that's even better. Solid. Because if it was men, it'd be like 175, 180. <laughs> Taxes. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So this is the bike or bikey Air Jordan 4, whichever one you want to consider it. Uh, but basically, Nigel Sylvester is a professional BMX rider, and they're doing the first ever low top Air Jordan 4. So we've never seen this shoe before in a low oh, top we iteration. Oh, we don't see it again. And this is what it is. I right don't here. like this. So you got the front, you can see the four. The bottom, you can obviously see it a little bit on the back right here. They switched up the nets, put the cage on the side. No, no. no. I'm like. You like that? You're, I don't know. No, no. I really don't know. Like this colorway is fire. I think. No, don't look at like the shoe. But no, look it looked like kind of like a Ghost Speed Racer shoe. It's a fire it's, shoe. Like the colorway is fire. But I don't know. I'm I'm afraid that you're going too far away from the shoe, trying to add to it. The Jordan Four. Yeah, and I'm used to the Four. The way it is right like i like the swoosh the small swoosh up front that's mm -hmm. that's smooth you know the bike air that's different mm -hmm. but them sides the side panel it just yeah that that whole thing around and the top. It's, a, it's a lower cut too but i don't know yeah, like it's like that's not a that's not like a full three quarter it's just just a mid like i don't know what to call that it's so like, look at this in hand half a high top but look though in hand <laughs> it doesn't look as good as on foot no guarantee you this in hand looks like crap but on foot it looks a lot better. but on um, foot with this white sock help because of the contrast right of the shoe. so that's why i say i don't know because as it's, i see it on foot it I'm has like, a chance it's i'm on the I'll, i need to see them in hand it and has. i need to put them on and look at them and Drawing see them brand, on foot. Send him a pair of size 13 and 14 right so he it. can see 13 14 <laughs> we need it right now <laughs> no but on surreal i don't know like it's that and the materials look nice it does look nice. Don't get me wrong on that. Materials look cool. I'm just trying to figure out that whole little thing going on the side. Yeah, I, for right now, I'm going to say it's a cop. We're going to see. Remember the Jordan 2 threes? That's kind of like nothing. Yeah, and yeah. then people, and then they that see That was a hit person, or miss, and right? then a hit. You to me, a hit. Right. So, yeah. I'm, I'm giving it its chance. That's all I'm saying. I'm giving it its chance. It's got chance. a chance. You know what, though? Let me tell you something real quick. 150 what, bucks. What I like about it the most is that bikey air size. That's dope. Bike. That's dope. And then on the tongue. <laughs> okay. I give him that. that that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, they're growing on me quick. <laughs> yeah, that's like, bleh. Nah, I think... I think they're clean. I think uh, I'm definitely interested in seeing them in person and we'll, we'll see what happens when the time comes. And brother need a taller seat on that bicycle. <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. It's a BMX bike. <laughs> okay, 
Air Jordan 1 High OG Women's First in Flight. What is women's getting everything right now? So this colorway, the materials, everything is fire. I think I'm pretty sure it's based off of like UNC First in Flight. Yeah. I just seen images online and I'm like, materials, execution, A1. This is probably one of the best Jordan 1 highs that is gonna come out this year, at least in the top five. For women. I think for men as well, this colorway is fire. No, the colorway is fire. I will say this. I wouldn't mind, you know, seeing chicks in this and not go, oh, you wearing those? Like you can go, okay, yeah, she got those on. It was clean, it was clean. Yeah, right. you, can, you can give her the head nod. She get yeah. the whole head nod. Get like, the head nod, okay, I see, I see, I see, okay. Yeah, that was clean though. I don't even know if they're gonna make them in extended sizes though, that's the thing. That's one of the thing is so close to like that North Carolina all pattern. All, mm -hmm. What's the insoles look like? What's that? This is like, it just says AJ23. It looks like a basketball court, but like a diamond shaped type thing. Okay, or okay. it looks like a basketball kind of like on the insole. You see right there, the lines of the ball. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, either way, I think the shoe's fire. I think 180 bucks in this current time, in this current world, a little bit too high. For a woman's shoe. Uh, I think if you can get these around 140 or less, I would probably be, be somewhere perfect. around there. I think coming in at 140, even 150 mark, is cool for mm -hmm. women's shoe. For me personally, because you're getting less material. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, it's smaller. It's small. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Okay. This, oh my gosh. When I saw the images of these, I was so hyped. Is this, is this? Oh, I was so hyped. Football bottom. Football? Okay. Black like cement it. threes. So I used to have the screw in bottoms when they came out. They yep. dropped them on East Bay. This was like when I was in high school back in the day. And I still have them. I have my pair that I wore and they're like tore up before. He used to be all right in football. Just yeah, like that. Right, right, right. right. So he, I had he got the, the head nod. I got the head nod. I was all right. <laughs> so I had those. I tore them up, but I kept a dead stock pair. And mm -hmm. I'm excited to do a comparison review of these, show everybody the differences. They got the vapor bottom, it looks like. Or no, I don't know if this is a vapor bottom. I'll tell Either you right way. here. It's a great looking shoe. If I put it on, I'm gonna pull a hamstring trying to rock. I just think it's so but, dope, like seeing these retros come back again and like, they should do the- No, but literally, excuse me to interrupt Go you. ahead. Literally to see this on the field. It's so dope. Right? Like you said, don't have the screw ins. Everything's like full, it's just set up. Yeah. Like you can go out there and get busy. Yeah. Like, okay. You're talking about years ago uh -huh. to current time, right. players be able to play in it. Yep. They don't even know where it came from. They right. just go, oh, it is tight. You don't know, like it was this here and yep. then now it's this. Oh, I'm gonna show them when it come out, don't oh. worry. You know I got all the versions of these. Yeah, but that's what I'm seeing, like how it got here. Yeah. And then now they get to experience it yeah. on a whole new level. Yeah. That's, anyway, okay. I'm well, okay, on. let me, I, the thing I was gonna say too is, during this time, they dropped the white cements and the black cements mm -hmm. at the same time. Right now, they're only doing the black cements. So I wonder, are they gonna do the black cements and then drop the white cements later when it gets Most closer likely. to the season? But we always get close to that mid-summer. They start dropping these football cleats because we know season's coming around soon. Right, People right, right, camp, right. Different stuff, uh, build the hype and demand. Yeah. But, ah, oh, man. So. They is clean though. Hear me out. Okay. Hear me out. I don't know if you guys know yet, but when you see these retros, mm -hmm. Typically, you'll see college PEs or player PEs with these models. They'll do the GR version for the public and then that. Whether it's a year or two off or the same year, it's always kind of like back to back, kind of, you know, they run this ecosystem of it. Right. There's an all gold, it's like a gold patent leather. The one you already got? I don't got these. Uh <laughs> I don't got these legit. That's a different one. <laughs> I don't got these. You got two per. No, no, no. This one, it's a gold UCLA Air Jordan 3 football cleat made oh, for okay. the players. So you, so you need those. I need them. Size 13. They're so clean. <laughs> They're so clean. So that's what I on my hit list next, basically. But uh, yeah, okay. I can talk all day about these. I got other things I no, want to talk about. Clean, though. We'll make a review in this future. 200 bucks though. But you're playing it's a clean. It's a clean. You're going to make your money yeah. in those. Yep. You got to think about when you get on the field, you're going to get your, your money. Yep. Like, yep. Well worth it. Plus, yeah, you're yeah. going to play multiple games, all yeah. that stuff. Like, good stuff. Okay, this one right here is a women's. What is that, this? Women's money? So, this is a. What this is, is a. This? Uh, it, like a rendering of the colorway. I don't think this is the actual colorway, but it's close. So, it's a dark uh, driftwood. And this is a summer. Yeah, women's. 
it says three text women so maybe it's like some switch up of materials or something maybe more like a durable material i'm not sure but uh retail two hundred dollars they trying to get their money off these women they hitting the lick right so now So i'll tell you this and this is me if you did this in a man's shoe it's worth two hundred dollars i think if you do this in a women's shoe 165. Just because of the amount of materials? The amount of material. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, no, I think this colorway. It's a clean shoe. Yeah, I think this colorway. I just but, can't see spending 165 I mean, $200 for a woman's shoe. I just don't think these will sell out, though. Okay, Ama 3s. So, I wore the Ama 3s before in the past, the white with the gray and everything. Mm -hmm. And that's considered to be one of the greatest Ama collaborations. Now they have the black version, the alter ego version, whatever you want to consider it. The white version that you saw in the past was a women's release. This is a women's release as well, but they dropped it in extended sizes and I was able to get it in different sizes like that. It's just more expensive in our size. So what do you think about this colorway in particular? I think it's way better than the white. I think they're going to kill them on this. These and it was a smart move to do the extended sizes. Yes. And the materials look crazy. Everything look comfortable on that shoe. And I'm going to say this. If I can get a size 16, oh, is it 15? 15 and a half. 15 and a half for women. <laughs> It's like a black cement. Do this it's like a black cement shoes. three, basically. Yeah. I mean, just like their version and their twist of it. Yeah. Uh, either way, this shoe is fire. I need two pair. I got two pair of the OG Ama threes. I need two pair of these yeah. for sure, without a doubt. One will definitely be in the rotation. And it's actually quite hilarious because remember we were talking about all these Jordan fours that are hot and popping and everything mm -hmm. right now. Speaking of that, but a lot of people don't even like the fours and the threes like that. Remember we were talking about these. How what do you, you think about these? How you be getting your hands on everything? They came out already. They came out already. <laughs> what do you think about these? Remember we was like, we'll see what they look like in Yeah, person. I was trying to figure that out. Because of the colorway and everything. I still like the shoe. I like it now more in hand. But I don't know if it's a cop for me. It's, I mean. I don't know. <laughs> this is tough to go with my feet though. I might have to wear this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just seeing what you think. You know what? Rate it out of 10. No, I give it a good 8. 8. That's solid. That's I a give cop. it a solid 8. That's a cop. Like, for sure. No, yeah, I give it an 8. So, I'm saying this to say, not only because we want to see what you think, because everybody was asking from the past, but also, the Jordan 4 hype is dying, and we're seeing some fire Jordan 3s coming out right now. But here's the problem. I'm just excited to. about it. What? What happens is, and y'all got to understand this, we do these reviews off pictures, not in hand, mm -hmm. right? And so that's the harder part. So sometimes y'all have seen me change my mind on a shoe right. because you have it in hand and you can see it and you can feel it. Yeah. Mm, smell it. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying like there's shoes like that. You go, mate, I wasn't that fond of the shoe at right. first. And then you start looking and you like, Wait a minute, I got an outfit for that. Right. Wait a minute. So it would be a cop, it'd be an eight. And I think it'd be one of those ones again, you can't wear all the time. Mm -hmm. We talk about this. And, but when you put it on, they gonna see you. Yeah. Remember what we said? You get the head nod, yeah. like, oh wow. And look at that, they did a Nike yeah. Air on the back. Yeah, everything. no, this is, that's They what even I'm altered the jump man. They've never done this before. You see how yeah. they made it more straight line? Oh yeah. Right? Yep. This is the first yep. time I ever altered the jump man before for a collaboration. Yeah, this is. Okay, so yeah, eight out of 10, you like it. I like it. And I think this is funny because this is another women's release. That's women's release. Yeah. There's a lot of dope threes, Not whether it's men's or women's releases, there's still just a lot of dope threes. And then remember we saw the uh, J Balvin's, the mm -hmm. all black with the sunset mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. Maybe everybody's going to be newfound Jordan 3 fans. And everybody's going to be wearing women's shoes. Is that how it's going to be? <laughs> Okay, so the black version is set to drop, and then they also have this white version. Now, this is a rendering of it. It's a white with more of a mocha kind of color. And if you know, and if you know, you know, the mocha threes, it's all white with the mocha color on the elephant print area, similar to that style. What do you think about these? The black to me, killing it. But in the women's size, women's shoes, that's it's, it. That, this is killing it too. I need, I need. Both. Two pair of each. I need both. Yeah, I need two. What I'm saying. This is actually crazy because I didn't realize this either. 
We have another women's release. That's what I said. We got like five women's shoes so okay. far. This is the WNBA collabing with Jordan brand to create the Air Jordan 3 in a women's colorway. And you got this like desert camel all throughout the entire upper. Now hear me out. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. You take this colorway and you make it exclusive 45 pairs numbered specifically for the WNBA athletes and do a special box and da 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 da. And now the shoe's going for $12,000. But because it is what it is and it's coming out to the regular public, next thing you're gonna know, it's gonna be sitting on shelves and it's easy to cop. And whoever likes it, they're gonna get it. Now, here's where I stand on this I think they're dope. WNBA girls basketball is ready for this. This is fire. I think that everybody need to join in, start buying the stuff for WNBA. I've not seen one person wearing a WNBA shirt, jersey, or anything. Not More, walking I, the streets. Oh, okay, you have For it. me. Well, okay, also, we don't have a WNBA team here. That's another thing. <laughs> so, that's another that's thing. Me. But what I'm saying now is we have opportunity now right. to jump in and get it. And I think this is fire enough. If they do the shoe sizes up to grown man size, they have a chance to now get to everybody's attention. I think I think these are super dope. It reminds me of like, like you said. Oh, excuse me. Excuse go. me. You said if they gave the special box and they cut the release down, and they did this, they would kill it. Yep. Uh, it's right there. Uh, Alayli May. She has an Air Jordan Four. Friends and family. Da da da. It's like a fifteen thousand dollars shoe. It's a camo Jordan Four. <laughs> It's same vibe as this, but right. now it's the Jordan 3. Obviously, the print is a little bit different, but yeah. either way, you look at that shoe, look at that. I mean, I might, numbers might be wrong. It might be a $20,000 shoe. Who right. knows? Either way, it's an expensive sneaker. Right. And you look at these, and I'm like, these are dope. Yeah. I think this is a cool switch up. They got the WNBA logo That's right what there. I was going to say. They even changed the logo yep. inside the shoe. And then they switched up the yeah. Jumpman right there, and it's got the raised logo right there mm -hmm. with like that plastic. Uh, I just, I think these are clean. Yeah. I think if this was a men's release, women's release, whatever it may be, even if it wasn't a WNBA release, I think it was a clean shoe. Something unique and different to have in the rotation. Yeah. Not the classic red, black, and white, the blue, black, and white, the purple, for the whatever. For sure, like, for sure. Something good to switch up. But the color's not bad because you can wear it with damn near anything. I think any time of the year, too. Right? Yeah, it's not specific. 200 to bucks, though. <clears throat> They're trying to get their money. Those but should anyway, be at least like 180, right? But but again, we agreed. Right. If they did the other stuff to it, it's worth the 200. Yep. Right. And we've been waiting on women's shoes, especially WNBA, to get to that mm -hmm. mark. Oh, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming right now. Hey, yo, just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website, shopdnashow.com. Also, you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices. I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it, and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. Air Jordan 1 Low. We were just talking about the Barons, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is actually the Barons colorway for the Jordan 1 Low OG. Mm -hmm. um, this is the team you play for, obviously, all the different things. The only thing I would say about this is I'm switching the laces. I'm going all white laces with the white tongue. To I me, don't like the contrast with the black laces. I just, I'm going to go with the white laces. To me, it's a basic low. Every to day. Me. A little everyday shoe. It's shoot. a basic low. Yeah, every day. They better not be over 150 because then it's like, we cannot do this. But see, this is the and, thing I don't like. You see the shoe? You see all these pictures? Mm -hmm. Nothing on this shoe says Baron One Low. <laughs> The insole, the tag, the font. There's nothing that says <laughs> Baron One Lows. So who are these? Actually, the Baron One Lows? Or no. are they trying to slap some nobody bullshit would story? Know. Yeah, nobody would know, and it's not. That's why I said it's, to me, it's a basic. So shoe. like the other, the Baron One Highs, it had the pinstripes. It's not stripes. a cop to me. So the, the Baron One Highs had me. the pinstripes on the inside of the sock mm -hmm. liner and the different stuff, and I kind of missed those. I, I shouldn't have got rid of them, but at the same time, you know, priorities. We got houses to buy, so yeah. you know, different things. But either way, you, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm on a different level right now. <laughs> so either way, this doesn't say Baron One Low mm -hmm. at all. Like right. this is just black and gray One Low to me. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, and, and that's what. For me, it was a lazy one. That's what perfect, perfect words. They lazy in the shoe, trying to sell it and put a name to it. But this is where I say, hey, hold on, wait a second. No. Maybe us, 
you know how we as sneakerheads give the shoe a nickname and the brand never gave it that nickname yeah. so maybe this blog or the other blogs decided hey we're gonna call these the Baron one lows and then the Jordan brand was like hey we were just releasing a black and white and gray one yeah low. yeah but you that's not fair to Jordan brand right so then now maybe there's a disconnect between the brand and the consumer and then the blogs got in the way and created a new narrative but then that means Jordan brand need to stand up and get their own stuff and that's the why right what? way they need to send me all the shoes so I can tell them the right story. That's right. <laughs> Beforehand. <laughs> okay, next shoe. Oh yeah, those are 140 bucks by the way. Oh, that's not bad. I think it's too high. But it's still not a cop for me. I think it's too high. 225. See, I'll rock with that. Okay, now sure. hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Air Jordan 4 Paris Olympics. The shoe looks dope. Everybody's gonna immediately call it what? The poor man cost fours. Those are like three or four thousand dollars right we'll now. We'll take the poor man's. So. And then they're gonna say this is the poor man version, just like we seen with the Topes and the Travis Scotts and yada right. yada. And then people create those narratives behind all that stuff. To me, I think I like how they went about this, and I wouldn't compare those two, but you will hear those comparisons in the comment section. But, but but that's very few people. You gotta look at like you know a lot about shoes. Right. And some people won't compare them because they don't even know those shoes like that. I think it's a great looking shoe. I think it's great priced. I think it's an easy wear and I'd rock it. It's a, it's a cop for me. Some people that hate on things is because they can't afford those things. This is true. Right? Don't, the, remember we said this, the worst thing is just say, I woulda, when you don't even have it. <laughs> you so shoulda. don't say what you woulda did when you don't own it. No, you shoulda did it when you got it. Right. <laughs> that part. <laughs> Okay, the only thing I can say is like this image right here where you got that where you see the toe and the colors and the grays yeah. like It's kind of almost looks like too many different shades of gray and uh, they need, not like, they need darker gray laces, right? It's kind of not hitting right at the same time. So this is like I'm on the fence But I'm really leaning towards like it's a cop type situation. I'd, I'd go with darker gray laces if they it come with two pairs of laces That'd be way to go. Not those light colors. That's me. I have a feeling that actually I have. The you probably shoe. got the pairs over there. Uh, Just, I don't know. Y'all yeah. don't. Y'all. Y'all know what I go through when we talking about shoes. He usually has his shoe already. This is a different one. This and it wore one. it twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one right here. This one is the. I forgot the name of it. It's a green something. What was the name of it? Uh, oxidized green, right? Okay. So this shoe. Remember we saw these when we were in Hawaii? Right, right, right. And we're like, yo, how much you want? And they're like, 400. And we're like, oh, I'm gonna wait for them to come right. out. I got a feeling they're gonna sit. This is a great shoe. Yep. Did a great job on this shoe. All around, I love the execution. They're going for like less than retail. Sitting on shelves, nobody wants them. Here, you can check them out. So the question is, is this gray pair gonna get that same type of treatment? Are they gonna just be barely hovering over retail, sitting right at retail? What's gonna happen to this shoe? I'm so interested because same treatment, if not worse. Yeah. I don't if know. If not worse, because you can tell me if I'm wrong, but the gray pairs don't sell as high as the white pairs. Yeah. The black pairs beat them all. Oh, sorry. Also, you have the cool gray four. You have the cool gray fours yeah. as well, so you know. Yeah. So people are gonna say these are like, those they're up. gonna say this is an alternate to the cool gray four or yeah. alternate to the cause four, right? Both yeah. of those shoes are expensive. This is a more affordable version. But this shoe doesn't have the nets on the side and the elements that yeah. makes the Jordan 4. That's what I was Ford. looking at. I can see this right here, mm -hmm. you know? And so dang, now you're comparing this shoe to that shoe. The the gray shoe. It's looking worse <laughs> to this shoe. <laughs> this shoe is fire. This shoe is fire. Because it this is sad to say. I had to cop them. I had to cop them. Now, now I have this one in hand. Mm -hmm. It does look like that one's more the low budget version of this shoe. Right. I can see that. The tongue, the different element, how it's kind of like embossed yeah, in there with the logo and stuff. Now again, if like you can you afford like two hundred dollars, it. it's not low budget to you because that's what you need to be paying for. No, shoot. I think these are two twenty five. Now see, now they're messing 225. up. Two twenty five. Okay, now they're messing up. I, I, I'll go to one eighty to two hundred. Two twenty five. No. So that's what's gonna cause this shoe to sit. Now I think the yep. only thing that they're gonna do great, which they already created the shoe and it's already coming out, so they can't change the inventory, but it's the numbers. How many pairs did they make? 
Oh. That's what's going to determine. If they flooded the market, right. they, they screwed That's up. That's going to determine what happens. Because this is more of a special kind of Olympic edition thing, great. Mm. But this is the thing again. Tell me on this shoe, where does it say Paris Olympics? Nothing. There's nothing in here that says Paris. Look at uh, the the tag, the the insole. The, nothing. There's nothing that says this is a gray Jordan Four, and they said these are the Paris okay. Olympics. Okay. 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 Make it make sense for me, please. I don't see anything. Maybe the box, but then what? That's not on the shoe. I can't. And I'm gonna tell you this, they blew it. That's back to back shoes. You have a great opportunity to make a big sale and make people that be a part of the shoe and be in buying it for a reason. Mm -hmm. And you lost the reason. Because when you're walking around with your shoe, if it doesn't say it, it doesn't mean it. It's got to tell that story somewhere. It, in there. It's got to tell Where's the story my... to a person that don't know nothing about George. And they would want to go, oh, I would have loved to have some Paris Lemon. I would have loved to have some WNBA shoes. Yep. And you, it tells no story. I gotta find them. Now, at least the ones where we said with, with the bike and stuff, it says that. Right. Right. But you blew it on the biggest stage. <laughs> Paris Olympics is the biggest stage. Hey, I don't know. All right, so now I ain't copping them now. I just, <laughs> <laughs> you guys blew it. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's record like, this clip now. Let's see what happens if he ends up getting them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like I said, it was iffy, iffy. I still give it like eight and a half. Okay. You know, it's a decent. So those shoe. are better than those green. But three. comparing to this, compared to this, to it's not. Okay. I'm just saying, comparing it to this shoe, if y'all look, when he when he showed it, I'm just saying. Okay. I think we spent enough time on. Okay. This shoe. Sorry about this, but they blew it when they had the opportunity to do it. Okay. You got Olympics. You got WNBA. I, I kind of like, but that's the thing. This is a shoe that I want to have in my collection years from now, but I'm just want to be like, oh yeah, I grabbed those for 130 bucks, 140 bucks or something like yeah. got them on sale or something. I think that's the kind of scenario mm. that I want to face when I add these to my collection. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't be like, oh, those are damn the 350. I bought them for 900. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to still buy them. Like, no, no, it's not happening. No. Okay. Next shoe. This one right here. I love this element right here again mm. hear me out remember we talked the jordan threes by the way <laughs> the threes are hot right now yeah. okay so this is inspired by the wings program the jordan wings program does what they create scholarship foundation and they do all this stuff they raise money they have shoes that come out each year mm -hmm. those go towards the program they give students uh scholarships they go on to go to college and graduate become a part of this family they create mm -hmm. this big program they meet the athletes meet jordan do all the different cool stuff right so they inspire it by different things, different stories each time. Now, this one is, where'd it go? There was like a short brief of this one in particular. I can't find it. Either way, so this is like a floral kind of print and a style right. that they went right. about it. So this shoe in particular reminds me of a, a PE. This is like something that you would see that again, $8,000 shoe, $12,000 shoe. And I was gonna say, they went out their way to make it different. Yep. And I think the they other did a really shoes, good job. They didn't go out their way that much to make it different. I like how they blended the elephant print with the mud guard area mm -hmm. with the grays and how that mm -hmm. really flows. The pink bo bottom, like kind of like the cherry blossom, different mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, I think they did a really good job on this shoe. I think it's gonna be for a select audience, whether you wanna support the Wings program or you just really like this colorway. Um, if you love Jordan 3s, I think this is going to be a great addition to the collection. Something different. Oh, you got dope. the flower on the back. Is yeah, it a Jumpman? Dope. Okay, so you have a Jumpman on the left foot and a Nike Air on the right foot. Yeah, that's dope. Um, I think all around, it's just a clean shoe. I think it's the subtle pink hit on the bottom allows it to still kind of mm -hmm. be like, you wouldn't even notice it. You know, it's just look like a white and gray kind of shoe. Right. Um, I don't know. I like these. No, it's a clean shoe. I, I don't know me personally. If I cop them, the shoe's clean. They did what they're supposed to do with the shoe. They made it different. You know, they didn't blow it like the other shoes. Mm -hmm. The you box. Know, like you said, the box, they, they showing that there. Mm -hmm. The other ones, they didn't show the boxes. They told the story. <clears throat> yeah. And they did good. They and got I all think, the way there. Yep. I think uh, this is what we like to see from Jordan Brand. Mm -hmm. So the other releases, Oh, it's a shoe, it's a shoe, it's a shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it a shoe? Why are we getting this? What is, what's the story behind it? Tell me the different things. Is that things. covered at 210? Um, is it 210? What was that at? 210 on the retail. 
So, out of all the Wings sneakers, um, this could potentially be up there, like top three out of the different versions yeah. over the years. It might be top five to some people, but I think this is a, a definitely a cop for me. I, I want to add these to the collection for sure. Is this coming out women's and men's? I think it's a men's release. Men's and women's? It looks like it's a men's release. It doesn't say women's on here, but again, I'm not sure. Um, it just makes me think of like the Soul 3s and the different stuff like that that now has a crazy value because of the limited drop. Like this could easily have been one of those things. Like right. they did a foundation dinner and they gave out 300 pairs and then now they're, you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, that would make it crazy money. Then they would be a $10,000 shoe. For you know sure. You know what I'm saying? Quick. Like I think this could easily be one of those sneakers, but allowing the public to have access to purchase this, mm -hmm. I think it's really dope. And I'm pretty sure they probably had that conversation mm -hmm. in the meeting room. Like, mm -hmm. Unless the designer just was going crazy and they was like, yo, we got to drop these. <laughs> Make it quick. Yeah. Okay. So that was the month. Out of all the shoes, give me your top three. What do you want to see? What do you want to get for the month of July? What's your top three? I can't wear no cleats. Okay. I will put them cleats in there. Okay. So honorable mention. <laughs> yeah. Honorable mention. Okay. 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 And then those all blacks this is number two okay there jordan that one right there okay so the black all my threes yeah that would be number two okay what else the other one with the baseball not that one. Oh, the, the jordan one the jordan one low top okay that right there that'd be number one the method thing. to make then yeah. the all my three and yeah. then the football cleat yeah okay for me i would definitely go with the football cleat i think i would go with the damn that's tough. I think I might go WNBA threes. And then after that, I would go all my threes. So it's just like all threes for me. And Those would be my top three. Threes right now is making a little comeback. Yeah. They did that a while back with the fours. Mm -hmm. But right now it's the threes. And they're doing the new, new uh, materials and uh -huh. everything else. They're kind of killing it. You got the blacksmith threes coming out later this but, year. So they'll win with that. It's, it's going to be crazy. Win. Yeah, they'll win with that. It's going to be crazy. But right now... Y'all got to do better on the women's releases <laughs> for this WNBA. Just no, no, no. They're doing. They're doing good. No. You're just saying keep tell doing better. Tell the story. Okay. Tell the story. My apologies. Tell the story. Mm -hmm. Give us something to say WNBA, mm -hmm. so people would know like you rocking WNBA, like. Also, you got to remember it's a big thing with legal too. So when they're creating these shoes, sometimes with legal, they're like. They gotta have issues with the logo, and then they gotta pay extra for that. And the different they paid things. extra for Jordan to wear his shoes on the court. Right. I'm just saying. There's so no, sometimes they, something doesn't get cleared in time, and the next thing you know, they're like, "Yo, we gotta do this instead." Like things happen too. So. Okay. Okay. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I don't mind being wrong. Nike is the biggest shoe person that is cutting edge and do everything they're not supposed to do, and <laughs> do it and pay for it and it pays off right i'm just saying everybody will stick to the script yeah and they go oh i'm not gonna do that right and that's what changes the market for all the other shoe brands nike is yeah. the one to do that and i think other brands are starting to do that now they're just copying off nike yeah i can see that can nike see that was the, the staple for this right so keep doing it right push the limit push the limit to the max Go get what you're going to get and check the move. This is the moment in time your fines and everything you do is going to lease them out because this league ain't doing nothing. Right, right. Be the staple. Get it done when the league... Because remember in the 80s, NBA wasn't making no money. Right. Most NBA players were still working at car dealerships. They was working at part-time still. So Full-time. So just, just real quick about that. So you're doing the same thing right now for WNBA. Do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Go after those contracts. Go get it. Do the things you ain't supposed to do. Pay the fines. Go get the money. We'll all be wearing WNBA shoes. You'll make full release runs in men's sizes for the women's shoes. I ain't gonna lie. That would be super dope to see like different collections and sets. Like <laughs> if they did a one through 23 in a WNBA edition, it had like a special colorway that they never done before. See what like I'm the logo's orange. 
So imagine they did like, oh, I don't like orange, but it would be fire if they did like a full orange, one through Jordan 23 or one through Jordan 20, 39 yeah. and did every color. Cause they used to do the sets back in the day yeah. and create all this hype and they have them displayed in the stores and stuff. Man, for we're sure. doing a consultant meeting right now at this point. Y'all gotta, gotta pay me for Send this. Send me some huh? shoes, man. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we tell them what to do. They be like, yeah, that's yeah, a good that's idea. A good yeah. Here's a market strategy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, make sure you guys subscribe to his channel Thanks, hit the follow buttons on tiktok instagram everything like that we got to get him to 10k we're gonna be posting some more videos over there hit the subscribe button on my channel and i'll see you guys in another one peace no more notes for nike <laughs> hey we know what we're talking about though <laughs> I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Listen, my DNA, hey, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. One of those, one of those. I would never let you down. Listen, my DNA, the only choice I like to 